Hey everyone, this video is going to be about mineral makeup, specifically powder foundation, and about how you can take it along with you because it's not in pressed form. It can get really messy and and it's not very convenient for travel or for vacation or taking it with you to work, school, or just going out anywhere. So this video is going to help you with that and I'm going to show you a few products that will help with that. So let okay. me start off first by showing you my mineral foundation. This is my main pot and I never dip my brush into here. What I did was, see I've never taken off the tape to the sifter so it's not even dirty. What I did was I pried off the sifter and I transferred it using a little spoon into this smaller Sephora sifter jar and this is about four dollars and that way you don't contaminate your main pot when you're always dipping your used brush in there so this stays clean and nice and since it's a smaller jar it makes a smaller mess. All you really need to do is you make sure that all the powder in the threads right here and around the jar right here are cleaned off and just make sure you brush it off so it doesn't get all over the place and that's how it makes it really dirty. So my flat top buffer brush fits perfectly in the lid and once a week I wash my brushes and I'll wash this lid out too. And this sifter jar is also a perfect size for you for travel because it's smaller than the regular pot and it makes less of a mess. What I can also recommend is that when you get your little samples, you could take this with you on travel too. Um, just take a lid from a jar, this is a travel jar and you tap your mineral foundation in here and get your brush stick it in there and put on your foundation like that instead of trying to dip your brush into this little tiny cap which won't work everything will get all over the place so that's just another tip so the first product I'm going to show you is called the puff jar from everyday minerals and this is five dollars this was not available on the older site but it's available now on the newer site and I've seen a product like this for some Rimmel foundation and an Urban Decay foundation also and the top just pops off like this and it has a mirror right here hello there's my camera and then there's a puffy thing here and this part screws off and this is where you put your foundation if you want to I haven't tried it with foundation because I prefer to use a brush with my foundation, but I do put my finishing powder in there, my silk dust. So that's where you put your powder, and the top part right here, this part will pop out of this ring here, and then you have this, this top part also comes out. So you have this, um, sponge material right here, kind of like same material as a makeup sponge and it's shaped like a railroad, um, I mean a train wheel, it has a big old groove here and in the center has a plastic cylinder shaped thing and then this thing is, it's not like a, a powder puff material, it's kind of like my Velux blanket that I use in the winter time and so you could pop that part off and you can wash it when it gets dirty and this will just go back on like this you just stretch it over and you fill up your powder in here pop that back on snap this back on and take your powder foundation with you or whatever loose powder you want so I just transferred my silk dust in here and it holds a lot of product I'm gonna screw this on and all you do is just tap it on your skin and there it is it's coming out now and it comes out very lightly so you know it doesn't come out all like a bunch at one time and you can just take this with you it's very convenient um, you know if if you get shiny you know just kinda blot that on your face or if you just wanna touch up a little bit with your foundation. Um, I don't think this will work very well with foundation as I'm using it now, you know. Not a lot of product is coming out. 
So I would recommend using your buffer brush. Okay, just let me show you what it's doing inside. So the product is coming out of that little hole right there. And I know you can't see it, but the product, I see that the silk dust right here in this little circle. So it's coming out from there. And once you get it started, it'll start coming out better. When you first do it, it seems like you're, you're like patting real hard on your face or your hand. But yeah. and once you get started, with it, yeah, it starts to come out pretty good now. So the final product that I'm going to show you that will help you with your mineral makeup on the go is this little compact thing. I don't know what the name of it is called. I'll look it up later. I'll look up the price of it later too. And it comes in this little pouch. It's Bare Minerals comes in a little zipper pouch, a black one, and there's a compact thing in here. You open it up, it has a mirror, and it has a sifter, but it has a flap that covers it, and it'll snap shut. And it also comes with this brush. It's the kind of, it's kind of like the same hairs as the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush that I hate. And I don't use this anyway, so um, the new ones, they come with handles, it's rounder at the edge, and it has an indentation right here, and it fits right under this handle, so you could put your brush in there and close it, but this is the old one, it doesn't do that. This happens to be my second one. The first one, the little plastic hinge right here broke off because I was a little too rough with it. Um, it gets kind of loose eventually, I guess, so just be careful with that. And I think my mirror came off also, so I'm more careful with this one. And it just snaps shut like a compact. It looks like a compact, a regular powder compact. And right here, it has a pouch, and I keep my clean and clear blotting sheets in here. And I also cut Q-tips in half for eye makeup smudges, you know, when your eyeliner kind of smudges in the corner of your eye. I keep all that in here. My little brushes. This is my little kit that I always keep in my purse. It zips up and this is it. It's very cute and convenient and discreet kind of, you know. More sleek looking than this little sifter jar. You know, you can't really use this in public or I don't know if you want to like dab this on your face. It's kind of big and you know. This one looks more like a pressed powder compact. It's cuter. Just flip it up like this. Open it up. Grab your little brush. Dip it in here. Get yourself in the mirror and, you know, do your little touch ups. So that's very convenient. I'm single, it don't really matter who it is. No. Or how many I decide to kick it with. No. As long as she can understand how I do it, I'm a man with a very So that's pretty much it. Again, this is the puff jar from Everyday Minerals and the little compact thing from Bare Essentials I got from Sephora. My little kit that I always keep in my purse. And the little sifter jar too. So I hope this helped you in any way and if you have questions, hit me up. Uh, thanks for watching again. Bye.